So welcome to night hiking at uh, Java Land. So uh, my name is Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network and my guest today, uh, so you will have to introduce yourself. So uh, yeah, my name is Alexander Gatsagarias and I'm a speaker for uh, virtual reality in Java. Okay. Yeah, my name is Eric Punk. I'm also a speaker for virtual reality in Java. We just did our talk. Okay. So, um, so, you, so you had a talk about uh, virtual reality yeah. and, and Java. Correct. And so, so how does it work? Is it possible? <laughs> really? Yeah, it really is possible. It's not so maybe the ideal situation and the yeah. ideal solution. But is it desirable? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Tell us about... Um, well, it's, it is possible, that's for sure. Is it desirable? That's the other question, because uh, it's kind of tricky to get it working. Uh, and there are some very strong competitors out there, uh, like game, game engines that just do it so much better. And if you want to do it in Java, then you actually, uh, or you have to use some, you know, uh, uh, kind of sketchy game engine that's written uh, in Java, or um, you've got to build for Android and do everything natively. So is that your solution, or do you have a better solution? Uh, the, sol the, the solution, uh, the proposed solution, at least what we said, is if you really want to do it in Java, is uh, use uh, Android, Android smartphones, okay. and um, uh, a lot of libraries. Yeah, and also an option is uh, using web virtual reality, web VR. That's uh, starting to gain ground, and it's much more easier for web developers to, to get a hands-on. So that's also a solution that you could uh, approach. Okay, so so what did you demonstrate in your in your talk? So the the web. Uh, we demonstrate basically everything. Okay. Uh, one in uh, on Android, uh, all the same demo, and uh, we showed to people what the effort was of to creating those demos, either in web virtual reality on Android, or just using uh, Unity as a game engine, and we did a comparison between those, and mm -hmm. that was uh, nice so to do. Okay, so what's the result of the comparison? Which one is easier, faster? Well, <laughs> it depends. Um, if you already if you already know Unity, then there is nothing faster than Unity, uh, of course. Um, if you want to do everything natively, uh, it will take some time to do it in Java. So uh, I think the best for solution for a real Java, uh, hardcore Java programmer is to uh, go the native way, Android, with a lot of libraries uh, to back you up, uh, 3D libraries uh, and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And um, so can you be a little bit more specific? Like let's say somebody wanted to just uh, pick a platform, for example. So what kind of platform would that be to just to build a, um, um, you know, a side a simple project? Demo. Right. I would go for the approach of using web uh, VR, okay. uh, using the A-Frame framework that would get you on going in like 10 minutes and you get a virtual reality application up and running in no time. And then, um, okay, so that would be like a virtual reality then on your desktop, I'm uh, In the browser, so that could either be yeah. on, a, on a phone or okay. you could also use it uh, on the desktop. Yeah, that's, uh, okay. it's, uh, it's basically everywhere where you have a browser at your like, disposal. And would you be able to, um, to use one of those masks, for example? Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So which one? Any, uh, as any? Uh, all of them. Uh, you, all can, of them? you can configure them, so that's uh, all is are integrated, and it will discover the device which is actually connected to the computer you're using. Mm -hmm. So that will all work. How much time would that take? Uh, the depending on the skills, I know. Depending on the skills. <laughs> yeah, the simple but demo. Yeah, would it be a few hours? Okay. So that's so pretty good. I, th I think w if you use Unity, for example, within five minutes you have a v VR demo uh, up and running. Okay. So that's uh, quite qu uh, quite quick if you just want to test the stuff yeah. out. So yeah. even in Java, it would be only a couple of hours. Uh, I think yeah. If, I think okay. even in Java, if you uh, just install so a library like uh, Sphere, uh, Sphere 3D or uh, Open uh, GL, whatever, uh, with a couple of hours, you have a nice uh, VR demo. Easy then. It won't be the most pretty thing, but okay. it, you'll have a demo. You get a good idea what you need to yeah, do exactly. and create it and, and uh, optimize it for real gameplay. So. Cool. So, w where can people find other informations to you guys? Blog about it, or uh, no? We are on the site of Java Land, of course, okay. and our presentation can be found there. And also on our presentation is our GitHub repository where all the code uh, for the demos is uh, available for mm -hmm. usage. So there uh, you can find everything that we talked about, and, and also the conclusions. And if you want uh, one more information, you can always tweet about uh, tweet us, and we'll happy to answer it. Of course, I'll do that <laughs> uh, with Java. Okay.
Excellent. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, for coming by and explaining that to us, because that's kind of unusual, right? Uh, right. So <laughs> we're happy that it's easy. It's a bit of a niche. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is a niche, right? <laughs> but it's cool. So yes. That's a cool factor. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for stopping by. You're yeah, welcome. Bye.